Greetings, this is J.D. Ferris Rowe, broadcasting from my stay-at-home dining room uh, video studio setup. And today we're going to do another Wii Video quick tip. Today we have a member of the Wii Video creative community, Pavel, who asked if there was a way to set up something different than the traditional picture-in-picture. -picture. What he was asking for was a three-quarter and one-quarter split screen. And that is actually pretty simple to do in Wii Video, and we're gonna show you how to do it in two parts. The first part is we're going to set up our media to be able to do a three-quarter, one-quarter split. And then in the second part, we're going to actually show you how to layer and adjust the video to give you the type of view that you want to do. So let's get started. Okay, I have two different types of media up on my screen right now that you're looking at. The first one is what's going to replace the video for the purposes of this presentation. And it's me in my Lego background. And the thing I want to point out here is that I'm giving myself a lot of space in the background. I am only taking up about a third of an HD size screen, maybe even a little bit less. And that's about what we're going to need in order to do a three quarter, one quarter split. So that's going to be an image that we're going to save. You could do the same thing with a video. You just have to frame yourself in the video. So this is more close. This is farther away. You just figure out how to frame yourself correctly to give you the video proportions that you want. The second thing that we're going to do is go into PowerPoint. And within the PowerPoint, you can see that I have a simple everything is awesome slideshow here. And what we want to do is we want to make this PowerPoint the right size to fit into our video. And in PowerPoint, it's actually pretty simple to do. You go to design and under slide size, you select standard four by three. This is what your TVs used to look like before HD TVs became very popular. Um, I tend to maximize it because I like as much text on the screen as I can get. And immediately you see that every slide has changed so that it is almost square, but not quite. If you want it to absolutely be square, you just go down to custom slide size and you can change the slideshow to be whatever dimension you want in terms of um, your selection. I think this will do for us. And so I will record this um, as a screencast and then I will see you in Wii Video. Okay, now we're in the Wii Video interface. And the first thing that we wanna do is grab the two clips that we are going to use uh, to make our video. The first thing is going to be this Everything is Awesome movie, which we exported directly as a movie so that it preserves our aspect ratio that we're going for. And the second thing that we're looking for is the picture called JD Wide Background. We're gonna bring that in. So we have these two media clips that are the same length. If you double click on the first video, it takes you into the transform screen of the first video. And under fit, we're going to move it from fit frame to fit screen. That puts us back to our original proportions. And now we can move this over so that it takes up just the amount of screen that we want it to take up. And that leaves us about a one quarter space in our video. And we're going to save changes. Then we're going to double click on the second picture and we're gonna click fit. And this one, we're gonna start scooting over until you just see me in the picture. And click save changes. Keep in mind that anything that's on the bottom layer of the video will be covered up by anything on the top layer. And if everything works, we can play this back. And everything is awesome. Hope this helps you and let me know if you have any questions. My name is JD Ferris Rowe and this has been one of our quick tips.